Diamond for diamond, no one compares with Mervis. At Mervis Diamond Importers, our natural diamonds come straight from the mines in Africa and our mermaid lab-grown diamonds beat all others for quality and value. Come view our brilliant diamonds, both natural and lab-grown. Mervis diamonds are so bright and full of fire, they will blow you away. So will the affordable prices. Our diamonds may steal your heart, but not your wallet. See our mermaid lab-grown diamonds and learn how to get a larger diamond for less. You can get a bigger mermaid lab-grown diamonds than you ever thought possible. And with Mervis financing, you can enjoy up to five years to pay with zero interest. A generous full-value trader policy and our lifetime warranty program easily make Mervis your first choice. When you mount a world-class Mervis diamond into a designer ring from our huge collection, there is no equal. Mervis Diamond Importers. For an appointment, call 800-HER-LOVE or go to MervisDiamond.com. Again, that's 800-HER-LOVE or go to MervisDiamond.com. You're listening to the Weekend Sport Podcast with Jason Pine from Newstalk ZB. We keep a, uh, a nervous sort of eye on the final few holes of round two of the US Golf Open at the Los Angeles Country Club uh, to see if our man Ryan Fox can stay inside the cut line. Let's take you, though, to a man who spent the last couple of days on course. Carter Collins is head men's golf coach at Georgia Southern University. Carter, thanks for joining us across New Zealand. What took you to the US Open? Hey, how are y'all doing? Uh, thanks for having me. Um, so one of my players, uh, Ben Carr, who just recently graduated last month, um, finished runner-up at the U.S. Amateur past, this past summer and earned an exemption to the Masters in the U.S. Open. So um, special opportunity to go watch him compete at a great golf course. And um, I went out and watched him play yesterday and most of the round today and um, just a special opportunity to go support him. How's he going? I, I think last I checked he was right on the cut line. Is that still the case? Yeah, he made the cut. Um, He played yesterday afternoon um, and this morning. He shot even yesterday in pretty benign conditions, and things were getting a little crispy today, and he played well, shot two over, um, and made the cut on the number. So hopefully he gets a cool pairing for the weekend and climbs aboard. Great stuff. I will look out for him as well. How would you describe this golf course? What's it like? It's very unique. Um, You know, there's not a ton of water or ponds or no oceans or anything next to it. It's a it's a it's not the prettiest course. I mean, it's definitely got a brown look to it with as dry as they have it. Um, but it's very unique. Um, I'd say it's if you're a golf architect fan, then it's probably one of the best courses you've ever seen. Uh, there's tons of subtle, uh, subtle breaks, subtle uh, bumps and um, hills, and um, the bunkers are all placed extremely well and finished real pretty. Um, it's it's a beautiful golf course, but extremely challenging. You have to shape it both ways. You have to have some height on your on your approach shots to hold the greens as firm as they are. And um, it's a very impressive golf course. We saw a couple of sixty twos yesterday. Ricky Fowler and Xander Shoffley both shooting sixty twos on on day one. What was behind their extremely low scoring yesterday? Yeah. So um, from what Ben um, Ben said the. The greens were a little softer than they thought they would be. The pins weren't that hard, and all the par threes were bumped up. You know, they've got a couple of par threes that can play up to 300 yards, and they had them bump way up to make them a little more manageable. Um, and there's already a good number of birdie holes out there. So if you can if you can take care of those birdie holes, and there's five or six of them that you should have a decent birdie look. If you can take care of those and, and manage the hard holes, you know, there's a low number out there with the way the course was set up and the the, the green firmness not quite being there yesterday. But today you started seeing that turn. The whole course had a different look to it, had a little bit more brown to it than green. Um, and I've been out there two days, and I haven't seen a sprinkler turned on yet. So my best guess is it's going to be really firm and crispy on the weekend. So if the if the leader at the moment, uh, who is uh, Ricky Fowler, is at 10 under, uh, a couple of guys at 9 under, 8 under, what's your best guess, Carter? What, what score is going to win this tournament? Ooh, um, you know, it, it all depends on the pin placements and tee placements because they've got so many options at this golf courses. But, I mean, if I was Ricky Fowler, I would take 11 under and not hit another shot, and I think I'd have a really good chance of winning. Um, I think there's a decent chance that the winning score is single digit. Um, there's a lot of great players uh, right there, but it's just such a hard golf course to avoid mistakes on. Um, I would say somewhere in that 8 to 10 under mark is probably going to do it, depending on course setup, but I could see it as low as five or six if things get really nasty on the weekends, but 
Um, if they set it up easy, which I doubt, you know, it, it could be a little higher than 11. But I'd say somewhere in that, you know, 8 to 11 mark should be about right. where it is. All right. And I was looking at your Twitter feed, and uh, you've got a great photo there of your man, Ben Carr, um, warming up alongside yeah. Rory McIlroy. Must be quite a thrill for a young amateur like Ben to, to be in such esteemed company. Oh, for sure. I mean, he's he, Ben grew up a, a diehard Tiger fan, and as Tiger has played less and less, Rory has kind of taken that 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 spot on his uh, his favorite pros list. And for him to warm up next to him, both, you know, it's not just one thing to warm up at your local muni, um, but to warm up together in the second round of a U.S. Open, um, you know, that's that's a moment he will he will have forever. And um, it was pretty neat watching Rory watch Ben hit uh, while Rory was waiting to hit. And um, it was just an awesome experience. Rory's a class act and very good to the young kids and uh, definitely appreciated him kind of keeping an eye on Ben during the warm-ups. That was very special. And I'm just looking at the other golfers who are sitting there at two over the card who, who Ben might get pa- uh, paired with tomorrow. And there's some there's some quite cool names there. Tommy Fleetwood's there at uh, at two over. Patrick Cantlay is at two over. Patrick Harrington's at two over. So he, he could get uh, he could get quite a um qu- quite a nice walk around this golf course tomorrow and the next day. Oh, that'd be awesome, man! He's got some work to do to get paired with Rory on Sunday. Um, <laughs> yep. you know, but. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely got some opportunities. Where's uh, Where's your guy? At? Where's Ryan Fox? He's uh, he's still sitting there. In fact, he's he's at uh, at one over now. He's through sixteen holes in his um in his second round. So barring a catastrophe on the last couple of holes, he should be okay as well. He was flirting with the cut line for a while, sitting there at two over. Uh, but he's one over the card with two holes to play. So we hope to see uh, to see uh, see Ryan out there. Is he um is he a guy you're aware of, Carter Ryan Fox? He is, yes, sir. Um, you know we've. He's played a good bit on the European tour, the DP World Tour, and um, you know it's early Sunday mornings, early Saturday mornings when you turn on the TV and it's on. It's uh, you know, I don't know. He's uh, he's got a boxing background, doesn't he? Uh, rugby, actually, but he's he looks big enough to be a, a, a boxer. Yeah, no, his, his dad was a very good rugby yeah. union player here in New Zealand, and uh, yeah, Ryan's gone the golfing uh, golfing route, and he's uh, he's making us all very proud. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if I remember right, he's a real stocky guy. Um, just kind of doesn't have much facial expression on the golf course, just a grinder, and he's definitely somebody we've taken notice of. Um, yeah, I hope uh, hope he can manage his last two holes. Is he playing 17 and 18 or number 8 and number 9? He's playing 8 and 9, yeah. He started on the back 9, so he's playing 8 That's and good. 9, so, yeah. That's good. There's a The last stretch at LACC is extremely difficult. 15 is, is not that long. It's only 80 or 90 yards or maybe 110 a day, but – really short part three and then 16 17 18 is a combined over 1500 yards between the three holes par fours they average over 500 yards a piece it's incredibly difficult finish and i think it's going to make for an, a really really dramatic finish to this open on the weekend um it's tough to manage right one of the things we're most proud of ben about was not only being in the mix but he was uh he was one behind the cut line after 14 30 15 and, and part 16 17 and 18 extremely difficult pars so um, glad Ryan is, is on the front nine. There should be an easy come to holes. Maybe he can get it back to even or one under going into the weekend. Fantastic. Carter, it's been such a, a pleasure to catch up with you, to get your insight, to uh, to get uh, get a real close-up view of what this course is like. We'll keep an eye on your man, Ben Carr. Thanks for joining us uh, across New Zealand today. All right. Thank you, Jason. Have a good night. You have a good uh, night too, Carter. Carter Collins there, uh, coach out of uh, out of Georgia Southern University, watching his uh, young amateur Ben Carr negotiate the US Open. For more from Weekend Sport with Jason Pine, listen live to News Talk ZB weekends from midday or follow the podcast on iHeartRadio. Diamond for diamond, no one compares with Mervis. At Mervis Diamond Importers, our natural diamonds come straight from the mines in Africa, and our mermaid lab-grown diamonds beat all others for quality and value. Come view our brilliant diamonds, both natural and lab-grown. Mervis diamonds are so bright and full of fire, they will blow you away. So will the affordable prices. Our diamonds may steal your heart, but not your wallet. See our mermaid lab-grown diamonds and learn how to get a larger diamond for less. You can get a bigger mermaid lab-grown diamonds than you ever thought possible. And with Mervis financing, you can enjoy up to five years to pay with zero interest. A generous full-value trader policy and our lifetime warranty program easily make Mervis your first choice. When you mount a world-class Mervis diamond into a designer ring from our huge collection, there is no equal. Mervis Diamond Importers. For an appointment, call 800-HER-LOVE 
or go to mervisdiamond.com. Again, that's 800-HER-LOVE or go to mervisdiamond.com.